Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant and I'm going to be joining the Porsche 911 GT1 race car finals. And as you can see right there, my hand is my 111 Lancia LC2, my 323 um, Lancia 037 rally car, my 323 Lamborghini Yalpa, my 323 Lancia Delta of some sort, and then a 233 Abarth, you know, the Abarth, the RQ64 good Abarth. I, I think it's, I forgot what it's called, but yeah. We are going to be joining this prelims and seeing how we can do because I've actually got a pretty good hand and also I'll just say all the other stuff that I forget to say in the videos. We have a Discord server in the description. Um, it's pretty cool. We've got a cool little community going where you can talk with me and just a bunch of other people in the Top Drives community and it's fun and stuff. We've also got opportunities then to join in the custom updates and also in pack openings too. So if you'd like to join then, um, the link is in the description and also if you hit the subscribe button, and we reach, and we reach 2,500 subs before the end of the summer, then I will max out my RQ80 Lamborghini um, Valentino Balboni, which is one of the worst legendaries in the game, but I will max it out if we reach 2,500 subs by the end of the summer, so definitely hit the subscribe button. So yeah, let's continue playing this challenge now. I remember to actually say the stuff in the videos. I usually always forget to say it, but let's see how this hand can do. That hairpin road is actually going to be very interesting because that Lancia is a strong one. That is a very good prize car. Hopefully we can get enough bonus points from this one mile drag. We got 160, which isn't bad, but it's still going to be a little interesting to see. We'll also win this twisty road because we have 2 through 3 spec. The Abartho 3 0 is a great car to have one 3 2 3 spec and one 2 3 3 spec. That's what I have because you do also end up using it a lot on Solemn Test, I've noticed, with having a 3 2 3 spec and a 2 3 3 spec. So having both of each spec is probably the right move, in my opinion. Let's see how many points we lose by on here. Why was the track purple as well? Do you see that? There's purple. Wow, actually, we only lost by 66. That is a lot less than I expected, probably because the Lancia didn't have ETB, engine traction bonus, since the engine was not maxed out. That must be the only explainable reason why we did not lose by that much, I guess. Or just the Lancia 037 rally car is just really good. So, yeah, we can go for this guy, I bet. Yeah, because it's the one-mile drag Miara. We're going to absolutely destroy it with the Lancia LC2. And, yeah, hopefully... I mean, we have a really strong hand, but I've run so many hands similar to this in the past of, like, my Lancia LC2 and then Ultra Rares and my Lamborghini Yalpa as a fuse material car, and I'm never able to win the carbon fiber. And usually it's because everyone else has Lancia LC2s with fuses into it. I don't have any fuses into my Lancia LC2, and, I mean, I would like to, but now I'm saving epics for if we do reach 2,500 subs to max out the Balboni because I need to have epics then, and epics are hard to come by. So I'm probably not going to dr be dropping a fuse on my Lancia LC2 because I believe in you guys. I bet we could hit that sub goal. And also, it's just, it's a prize car. Like, it's a legendary prize car. You don't, I'm, it's kind of hypocritical because then I have a maxed out Apollo Intensa Emotione. These are also the cars I'm working with too. I thought I should show you that as well because I pretty much end up running the same hand when the wrecks are like this, which the wrecks are usually a lot like this. But the other thing is that, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, it's because it's a legendary prize car, and you can't really, you can't use legendary prize cars in finals. Now, it is hypocritical because I have the Apollo Intensa Emotione maxed out, which is a legendary prize car, but that's kind of just because I wanted to max it out. I was really happy with getting, like, one of the most overpowered cars in the game, so then I just, I practically speed maxed it. I maxed out that legendary in, like, two months, but you really don't want to max out your legendary prize cars unless you've just got a lot of fuse materials sitting around or just to max it out because you're fun. You're more looking at it, the fun aspect of the game, or you just want to destroy in daily events, which my Apollo definitely does, and it definitely destroys in clubs as well. My Apollo is pretty much a clubs car. I don't really use it very much in actual events because I don't really have the opportunity to use it in actual events. But what you want to save your Epic Fuse for is maxing out a Legendary that's a non prize car because then when you have the opportunity to use it in a finals, you're going to have great advantage over other people because you have one of the best cars maxed out, so you pretty much have a guaranteed win every time with that Legendary. Which is why I just I haven't put a fuse into the Lancia LC2 yet. It's an amazing car, but it's just... I don't know, I just haven't done it yet. But let's go for this guy now. All the other races are going to be a tie besides the Hairpin Road, which will be a loss, and this one, which will be a win. But I assume we'll make up more points on the one-mile drag than uh, compared to that Hairpin Road. But let's just see anyway, because yeah, he 233 there, 030, so that's going to be a tie. That's what the car was, is the Barth 030. Now, was cute. I kept on thinking it was an 037, even though that's the Lancia. I don't know why I really wanted to say it. All right, and the Delta wasn't the Evolution. I thought it might have been the Int Lancia Delta Integrale Evolution. I think that's what it's called. 
I don't really know. I barely use my Italian cars too much. My Italian car collection is good, but then it's also lacking. That's the thing. Like, it's good, but it's like, Italian cars are just so interesting in this game. Like, it's there's legendaries, like Lamborghinis, which are good, but really it's just the LC2 and that um, Alfa Romeo prize car. And the, like, Julia Quadrifoglia. But yeah, this is hopefully what we'll be able to do. Hopefully we can get a tier 2. Um, the rewards will be next, so you'll see those in a second. And I'll just cut to that clip now. Alright, so let's see if I was actually able to get the carbon. I'm honestly not sure. It was a duel for like the last five minutes, just all out back and forth. Let's see what'll happen. Come on. Okay, the daily event, that's not important. I'm pretty sure I didn't care in the daily event. Oh no, actually I got an aluminum, all right. I don't really know half the time. I either end up with an aluminum because I just had a good enough hand in the beginning that I just stayed in the aluminum tier or I'll drop down into like a hundredth place. It's either one or the other. Ooh, Mitsubishi ASX, all right. But did, was I good enough? I think I was. 99 red saloons, all right. I got knocked out of tier two in that event, but I didn't really care for tier two because I was fighting for the carbon. I think I was in ninth. Like when the last second happened, I was in ninth because I got one last race in. And it was really sketchy just the whole time. So I'm, I'm really not sure. I really hope I got the, because I haven't won a prelim or something like that in forever. So let's see, come on. Yes, okay, there we go, we got it. Carbon fiber secured. What carbon fiber is it? It's a Subaru pack of some sort. Yep, ninth, just a Subaru JPT Pro Carbon Fiber. All right. So I'm really hoping for that Subaru Legendary, even though I got a Legendary just recently. But I'd really want a Legendary because, uh, the Subaru Legendary, just because then I could have it checked off the list of having it already collected. But let's see if we get the Forester first, maybe. Okay. We see the Super Forester first, so it could be something exciting. Let's see. Nope, Super Impreza WRX. All right, I already have that one. So both of those cars are going to be fused. And then all the cash and stuff will go to the um, 500k pack opening. That'll happen soon. But yeah, both of those Subarus will be fused. I already have both of them maxed. Both of those Super Airs I already have collected as well. And then all the rest of this stuff I will sell because yeah, none of it's really anything special from the looks of it. Yep, nope. But honestly, not too bad. I'm happy with the carbon fiber. I only spent 100 gold on it. Plus, probably probably made that gold back from the tier 2 rewards gold over the tier 3 rewards gold. But yeah, a little disappointing. It could have been something special. I was hoping for like one of those really good epics or the legend. But I'll, I'll take it. It's better than a ceramic pack, which is what I usually get from a prelim. Plus, it was pretty fun. It was just a fun event to play in the last seconds. My Lancia LC2 definitely helped out a lot. So that was very useful. I did actually... Or no, I did switch the hand, but then I changed it back to what I was originally using, and that hand was able to take me all the way, which was very nice. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, subscribe to see me max out the Lamborghini Balboni. If you do, that car will be getting maxed out, I promise. I've already got three epics set away to um, put a fuse into it if we do reach the reward already, and it will be maxed out no matter what. Um, and yeah, hope you like the video, and that's pretty much it. Goodbye.